November 24, 2011. I am the middle child of Angeline Arangila and Gerald Arangila. I have two siblings who are Shara Arangila and Chloe Arangila. We grew up in a loving family. My parents are very hardworking and I am doing my best in school to repay for their efforts for providing our needs. My family had taught me a lot of things, including being positive and good attitudes. Since I started studying, I have been well with my studies. I joined the University of Perpetual Health System Delta on 2018 when I was in grade 1. I can say that my school is a wonderful, loving, and excellent institution. Not only had I improved my academics, but also my spiritual and emotional self during my time here. I met many inspiring people, which I consider my great examples, such as my excellent teachers. This time, I present to you my ASMEP's achievements. On the school year 2019 to 2020, I started my journey with my wonderful trainer, Miss Danica B. Beato. On the school year 2021 to 2022, I managed to rank on the 7th place during the online math trivia contest. I ended up in the nationals competition and got the 9th place. On the school year 2022 to 2023, I joined both Math Trivia and Math Quiz B Online with my amazing trainer Miss Melanie B. Bernal and ended up being a national qualifier. On the school year 2023 to 2024, I joined the on-site regional Math Quiz B and got a place as a national qualifier. This time, I tried joining journalism because of a newfound interest and became a champion. I thank my trainer, Ms. Rebecca B. Calmada, for this. With all hard work and efforts, they were worth it because of the Nationals Math Trivia, I ended up in third place. Then at the English Journalism category, I ended up in fifth place. I want to give thanks and appreciation for my excellent teachers and trainers for helping me in this ASMAP's journey of life. I am grateful for their guidance, and I am happy and confident that all of this will be put to good use and develop more skills in the future. One of the best strategy that I consider the most innovative and helpful in solving word problems is the block model approach. The block model approach of solving mathematical word problems is an approach that uses strips, bars, or rectangular regions called models to make the problem solver visualize concepts or even manipulate problem situations. In block model approach, we have to be familiar with the relation of a whole fraction itself and its parts when divided. Parts being shaded is a visual representation to picture the value of the problem. Let's look at problem number one. It says here that if one third of the sum of the money is 21 pesos, what is the sum of the money? The problem is stating that 1 out of 3 is equivalent to 21 out of the sum of the money. This helps us see that out of 3 boxes, 1 is shaded and being labeled as 21. The next step is easy. Since we now have the value of each unit, which is 21, we multiply it with 3. With 3, because it is the denominator, the total number of blocks. 21 times 3 is 63. Now we have the answer to our problem. The sum of the money is 63. Pounds. Finding the base is one of the easiest things I want to share with you guys when solving the block model approach. For this example, the rate is 30% while the percentage is 27, meaning that the base is missing in this problem. This, we have to find the value of each block. The problem is saying that 27 is 30% of a certain base. If we convert 30% into fraction, it is 3 over 10, meaning that there are 3 out of 10 blocks representing 27. 
Like simply, 27 is divided by 3, the answer is 9. Now we have 9 as the value for each block. All we have to do now is multiply it by the total number of blocks present. 9 times 10 is 90. This shows that the base here is 90. With block model approach, math is made easy. I do believe that dreams do come true. And as young as I am, I am aspiring and hoping to be an accountant someday. As a young child, I often found myself captivated by the world of numbers. Little did I know, this fascination would pave the way for my future career aspiration. As I progressed through school, I discovered my passion for mathematics. Intrigued by the prospect of applying my mathematical skills to real-world scenarios, I studied further into the subject. I was fascinated by the role accountants played in helping businesses thrive by providing accurate financial information and strategic insights. I am excited to see where this path will take me and eager to make my mark in the world of finance. With each step forward, I am one step closer to turning my dream into reality. Math may not be for everyone. While it can come naturally to some, others may find it disinteresting, boring, challenging, and even anxiety-inducing. My passion for math is evident in how well I do in the subject. This is the basic justification for my advocacy, which is to help students discover their mathematical hearts. When I see someone struggling with a concept I've mastered, I don't just want to give them the answer. I want to guide them through the process to help them understand the why behind the solution. For me, teaching others and sharing my knowledge of math isn't just about helping someone solve a problem. It's about sharing a passion for learning. I participated in the after-school tutorial intervention group also known as the ASTIC program to share my mathematical knowledge to my co-grade 6 students in the public school and help them improve by the process of teaching. In my spare time, I wish to spread happiness by assisting my fellow students in grasping mathematical concepts, developing a positive mathematical identity, cultivating a passion of learning mathematics, forming connections, and recognizing mathematics in everyday situations. I've known Cassie since grade 4. As her teacher, at the same time, her trainer, I can say that Cassie is a learner who excels in school, demonstrate exceptional academic prowess, consistently achieving high grades across various subjects. Her ability to grasp complex concepts quickly, apply critical thinking skills, and demonstrate a strong work ethic sets her apart. Not only does she excel academically, but she also shows leadership qualities, a thirst for knowledge and a passion for learning that inspire those around her. Her dedication to excellence and continuous improvement is truly commendable. Congratulations, Cassie, on your outstanding academic achievements. Your hard work, dedication, and commitment to learning have truly paid off. Keep up your excellent work and continue to strive for success in all that you do. Your achievements are testament to your perseverance and intelligence. Well done, Cassie! Over the past few years, Cassie M. Aramilan has demonstrated remarkable dedication to her studies. As one of her coaches, I am incredibly proud of her achievements. I wanted to take a moment to tell you how proud I am of your hard work and dedication as you prepare for this competition. Your commitment in the field of math and your perseverance are truly inspiring. Remember that participating in this competition is already a huge accomplishment and it showcases your talents and passion. 
as you step into the competition, keep these things in mind. Believe in yourself and your abilities. Stay present in the moment and give it your best effort. And lastly, stay positive. No matter the outcome, remember that every experience is a learning opportunity. Embrace the challenge and have fun. We are all cheering for you and supporting you every step of the way. Go out there and show everyone what you're made of. You've got this, Cassie. Cassie is my hardworking mathematician who uses her extensive knowledge to solve math problems. In her last year as a grade schooler, she successfully surpassed the challenges in joining competitions such as Math Quiz B, Math Trivia, and even in the Journalism Contest. As one of her coaches, I really admire her patience and confidence in facing the challenges in the competition. She accepts the failure graciously and humbly celebrates victory. She is an exceptional, hard-working student, submitting work on time, actively participating in class, and achieving high grades. Admirably, she is always willing to help her classmates to understand basic math concepts. With all the qualities she possesses, I am confident that she will be able to surpass the competition with flying colors. So good luck, Cassie, and Miss Lani is so proud of you.